welcome to The Crafty Chemist. Today I'm going to show you how to make this beautiful card using the layered floral thin cut set. This set comes with three different thin cuts and it is item number Z3778. You can see there's a top, middle, and a bottom layer. This is the top layer. Look how intricate it is. The top layer has the biggest holes. This is the middle layer. And then this is the bottom layer with the fewest holes. What's special about this set is that it makes a very dimensional card. Look at the three dimensions on this card. You can see there's a bottom layer, the middle layer, and the top layer. So three separate layers of cardstock, so very dimensional. In the middle layer, I like to use our glitter paper. Here are some colors that I personally have, but there are more. The great thing about our glitter paper is that it does not shed glitter. This card was inspired from the Serenity Paper Pack. The Serenity Paper Pack and Sticker Sheet is item X7263S. And the paper is so gorgeous and the sticker sheet is out of this world. Look at the gold foiling on some of those stickers. It's amazing. And the paper is amazing too. This is my favorite. And then my second favorite is that blue ombre in the background with the gold flecks. So I'm going to start making the card here. I'm using the bottom layer and I decided to use sapphire paper as my base layer and I used the dark side of the sapphire. Put the thin cut down on it, put the top layer of my uh, Sizzix Big Kick on top. It's a little bit wobbly because I have it over top of my photo uh, background so I took that off. So now I'm going to use the middle layer and as you can see I decided to use the gold glitter paper to emphasize that uh, gold foiling that's in the Serenity Pack and the gold flecks that are in the paper that I'm going to use. So now I just run this through uh, my Big Kick and you can see that it cuts so easily through that glitter paper. No problem whatsoever with these thin cuts. So you can see how easily it comes off and how nicely it's uh, cut the pieces. And I like to save these glitter pieces. So look at that nice circle that's, you know, you're popping out. Look at that. Um, that makes great shaker cards. So I, I keep those and put them in a jar. This is the top layer. And for the top layer, I'm using this ombre paper that um, has the gold flecks. So it, it sort of starts with that sapphire color and then gradually goes down to the bluebell color. And I just love it. And the gold flecks are going to accent the, that gold glitter paper from in the middle. I run that through. This cuts very nicely also. The one thing about this um, cut, the top layer, is that some of the very tiny little pieces around the big circles, you, you will need to poke out. So I use my little pokey tool and just pop out all of those little pieces. So make sure that they're all popped out. So here are my three pieces. The bottom layer is sapphire. And then the top layer is that, or the middle layer is that gold glitter. And then the top, oh, you can also use the bluebell glitter. It would go nicely with it also. And now here's the top layer, that ombre from sapphire down to bluebell. I love this paper. And then here's my card base. It's just a regular card base. I'm going to glue these pieces down using the liquid glass. Liquid glass is item number Z679. And I find this holds the best, especially with the glitter paper. So I've kind of just speeded this up so you didn't have to watch me glue the whole thing. The one thing I will tell you is that you wanna try and make sure that you get some glue 
in between each spot because you want it to lay down flat. You don't want there to be gaps because when there's gaps, it doesn't look quite as nice. So here I'm smoothing it down. That liquid glass dries fairly quickly and I'm on the top layer. One thing you want to be careful with when you're using the liquid glass is not to use too much, especially on this top layer where there's very little space between the cuts. You want to basically just kind of dab it on. Um, if you put too much, it will squeeze out and then you'll have you know, glue showing and you, you really don't want that. So here I am pressing down, holding it down so that it dries. Okay, now it's complete. Look at how gorgeous that is. Now I'm taking the sticker sheet and originally I was planning on using that sticker, but then I just decided it's too big for the card. I could use it and it would look great. However, it would cover up so much of that beauty. So I decided to use that little um, thin sort of tag and I'm going to use the All is Bright from this stamp set. I will put the number down in the link. And I'm using the sapphire ink to complement the sapphire in that top paper. So I put All is Bright on my block. I'm taking that little tag from the sticker sheet and I'm stamping right on top of it. Holding it down nicely but not too much so that it smears. And now I'm going to take it off of the sticker sheet and attach it to my card. I decided I want to, wanted to pop it up so what I'm doing is taking my um, little anti-static pouch and I'm rubbing it on the back of the sticker to get rid of the stickiness. So you might say why am I doing that? Well, I'm going to use the thin tape to pop it up, but the thin tape doesn't cover the whole back of the sticker. So if you didn't use the anti-static pouch, there would still be some stickiness showing, not showing, but open on the um, back of the sticker. And you don't want things like hairs or dust or whatever to collect on that. So this, this prevents that from happening. So here I'm just going to stick it right down on the card. And there you go. I thought that all was bright was a nice sentiment for that. You could have stamped Merry Christmas on that if you wanted to, but I thought that sentiment matched the card very well. So here you go. Look how beautiful it is. I think this is my favorite card I have ever created. It is that gorgeous in person. Here's another version of the same thing except using more Christmas colors. And I did use um, white glitter paper on that middle layer. I used um, Scarlet on the bottom and evergreen at the top. This one uses bluebell, and I used the bluebell glitter paper for the middle layer, and then I put some bluebell pearls on the circles. This also makes a very beautiful wedding card. Look at that. I used all white daisy paper except the middle layer is white glitter paper. And then I put little um, of those diamond gems um, in the circles. So look how versatile this th set of thin cuts can be. You can make wedding cards, you can make pretty note cards, and Christmas cards. I can't recommend this enough.